Welcome to another sweetest vlog and welcome to my night pampering routine. It has been a cold, rainy day and I am ready to take off my makeup, do a hair mask, shave my face, shave my body, do all the self-care things. And I want to take you along with me today. So let's jump right into it and go to my bathroom. So this is my bathroom behind me. She's really small and she's she has like a weird layout to her because this cottage was built in 1900 and we bought this when it was vacant for years. Nobody did anything to it for so long. So we completely renovated this this space. I picked out all the tiling, the flooring, the paint, the everything, and I love how it turned out even though it's really small, it's super quaint and cozy, and I really love it. When you walk in, you have to step down, and right over there, I keep my dirty clothes pile, and then I have my vanity and my mirror. This whole house is crooked. It has just like a crooked foundation, so that's why it looks crooked, because it is. So over the, here is my vanity I got from Lowe's, and I got these bath mats from Nordstrom Rack. And then over here in the corner is my toilet, and then I have this, just a little trash can, and then I have this little table that I found at an antique store. And yeah, I have my sconces that don't match the rest of my gold hardware, but that's okay. I'm going to change them out eventually. I got them from Amazon. And then my other, um, this, this, and this are all from Amazon as well. But yeah, when you look at the mirror, you got the toilet to the left, and then the bathtub to the right. And then you keep going around the corner, and we have my shower that I love so much. I picked out all this tiling, and I'm really proud because I think it looks gorgeous. The first thing I like to start off with for my self-care routine is take a shower. I'm not going to wash my hair just yet because we're going to do a hair mask, but I'm going to take off my makeup, exfoliate my body, and shave. part since we have a fresh face I'm gonna be using the skinny confidential hot shave razor and shaving cream I love this stuff so much the best razor I've ever used on my face and the best cream ever like it's actually mind-blowing how good this stuff is and look how cute the packaging is it comes with a razor and then two other or three disposable blades. And I shave my face about once a month and I love how it makes my face look. I love how it makes me feel glowy. My makeup goes on better and it does not come back thicker and hairier. I promise you, it does not, at least not for me. All right, I know I look super sexy right now. I put this uh, headband thing on from Marshalls just to make sure my, my hair on my head doesn't get shaven off, it keeps it out of my face. So I'm just going to go like this. Like look how cute and pretty the shaving cream is. Put all over your face. And I promise you I've never broken out from this. Never gotten any type of weird reaction. This is super moisturizing. All of our, I think it's organic. I don't know, all good ing ingredients. No bad chemicals and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna look like this. Okay. okay, here we go. I like to start over here. I'm gonna go like this. You got me around your finger. You got me in a twist to stay alive. But I refuse to see it. Yeah, you can turn me up. Now that I'm done shaving my face, I rinsed it off with cold water and my Cetaphil soap bar. And now I'm going to use the Tanology Face and Body Drops. I'm going to say I like Savon Ayla's better, the Lux Unfiltered, but I didn't have time to order it in time for my trip. So I ran to Ulta and I grabbed this. It's good. It's just like I need a lot more product to get me bronzed up as much as I want to. 
So I literally take like two syringes, droplets, whatever you call these things, and I'm gonna rub it in my hands, and then we're gonna do it all over. I know it, it says it recommends, like it says like put moisturizer lotion with this, but I like to put this on first. Make sure you get your neck, behind your neck, behind your ears, down to your chest. Because otherwise, it just does not get me tan enough for my leggings. So, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to put on my Lux Unfiltered Lip Balm because I feel really dry. We're gonna use the Cetaphil moisturizer. This is my ride or die. My dermatologist, all the way from when I was 14 years old, recommended this to me. And my life, or yeah, my life has changed for the better, actually. Cetaphil soap, I don't know. Like, y'all need to sponsor me because it's all I pretty much use. So, rub it in. I've also learned that you need to like moisturize your eyebrows because every time that I go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil thing, I get like flakes of dry skin in my eyebrows and I'm like, I need to moisturize my eyebrows. <laughs> now I'm going to use Savon Ayla's Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self Tanning Cream. I love this stuff. This is probably like my fourth or fifth bottle. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have that weird tanning smell, so that's why I love it. And this Santal scent is just so good and beachy, so I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do my gel nails. I do my gel nails all the time, like probably every two weeks. So what you do first is you're gonna buff out your nails and then you're going to put some rubbing alcohol on them and then you're gonna add the top layer, which is a base coat. So I got all of this from Amazon. It's all super affordable. The orange thing that you see is a light and that is Sally Hansen. It ranges in price every day, it seems like. I originally got it for $30, but now it goes for like $60. I will link some options for you in my Amazon storefront. But the first thing to do is put on a base coat on your thumb, put it under the light, and then you're gonna do the rest of your four fingers and then put those under the light. And the light lasts for 30 seconds. And then the next thing you do is you put on your nail polish. So just to repeat what we just did, you first put on your base coat, place your fingers under the light, put on your nail polish, place it under the light, and then you're going to go in with another coat of nail polish, and then you place it under the light, and then after that, you are going to put on your top coat, place it under the light, and you're done. It seems tedious, but it's actually super easy, and I have a lot of fun doing my own gel nails. Once my nail polish is all done, I love to take these cute stickers that I got from Magic Gloss. I found them on Instagram and they are so cute. I love these little stickers. They come in so many different types. They have bows and butterflies and flowers, but today I am choosing a bow and I place it on my nail. And then when I place it on my nail, I'm gonna use the top coat once more and put my nail under the light to secure the sticker. And that's it. And here are the next 
day results. I feel so clean and put together and fresh. I just feel so good. Just taking some time for myself feels so good. I love how my face shaving turned out because I feel like my makeup went on so much better. And then the face drops and I just feel tan and I feel great. But I wanna remind you that there's only so much pampering on the outside that you can do to bring you happiness and joy. I want to remind you to pamper the inside of yourself as well and I mean by trying to create routines that make you the best version of yourself such as reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to Audible, going for a walk, going to the gym, surrounding yourself with people that you love, that you want to be like, that are bettering themselves. You are the five people you hang out around. And if you think about that, do you like those people? Do you like who you are? Would you hang out with yourself? Your identity, your looks, the things you have are not who you are and that's not going to be the end goal of happiness. So make sure you are doing your inner work, whether you are a person of faith or a person of who just wants to learn more about the universe, law of attraction. Make sure you are pampering your inside just as much as your outside. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Go out there and be the best version of yourself. Put love into the world. Put love into yourself. Put love into the ones that you love. And I will see you in a few days.